welcome to First Page Fun Days, where I highlight a book for you by reading you the first page. And today's is also going to be an unboxing because this was a pre-order. Um, so if you're interested in helping an author out, I'm just going to give kind of a little plug here for people, for the authors. If you're interested in helping your favorite author out and they have a new release coming, do a pre-order if you can. Uh, granted you pay retail prices um, but if you do pre-order that really jump starts their release um, if you can't do that make as much noise about it as possible let everybody know that your favorite author is releasing a new book um, keep making noise after it's released um, you know show pictures of the books tell people about it you know do whatever you can because let's face it authors they don't make a whole lot <laughs> Well, most of them don't. Um, so there you have that. Now I do pre-orders for Christian fiction, typically off of Baker Bookhouse. Um, if it's an author that it's like my go-to, I've got to get them and I'm trying to support them. I cannot, because I am such a book person, I buy a lot of books. I can't always afford to get um, the new, I can't, if I paid new prices, uh, I would be broke if I bought all the books I wanted. So I tend to be a bargain shopper. However, I do pick a handful of books throughout the year that I will pay retail or almost retail for to support my authors. And the pre-orders are a great way to do that. Also, a lot of the pre-orders you can get discounts on. Baker Bookhouse does a lot of, they, they will discount their books like 40% if you pre-order them. So that's a pretty good discount. And sometimes you can actually get like author gifts, stickers, bookmarks. So you never know. Um, but I don't do it for the, the extra stuff. That's just a bonus. I just want to support my authors. All right. So um, let's dive into this first page fun day here. I'm going to tell you that this is a um, April 2024 release. And the book is Night Falls on Predicament Avenue by Jamie Jo Wright. This is a Bethany House fiction that I pre-ordered from Baker Bookhouse. It is a romantic suspense. It is a dual timeline romantic suspense. And um, well, well, we'll read what it's about and then I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about the type of books Jamie writes. Um, as the walls of the house at Predicament Avenue reveal their hidden truths, two women generations apart discover that fear and foreboding are no respecters of time. In 1910, Effie James is committed to doing anything to save her younger sister, who witnessed a shocking murder, leaving her mute and in danger of the killer's retribution. Effie must prove what her sister saw, but when a British gentleman arrives, he disrupts Effie's quest with his attempts to locate his wife, Isabel Addington, who was last seen at the supposed crime scene in the abandoned house at 322 Predicament Avenue. Just as Effie discovers what she seeks, she finds that the blood staining the walls will forever link her to a scandal she couldn't imagine, and to a woman whose secrets promised to curse any who would expose them. A century later, Nora Richmond grapples with social anxiety and grief as she runs her late grand, aunt, grand aunt's bread and breakfast, bed and breakfast on Predicament Avenue. But Nora has little affection for the house and is committed only to carrying out her murdered sister's dreams until crime historian and podcaster Sebastian Blaine arrives to investigate the ghostly legend, legacy of the house's claim to fame, the murder of Isabel Addington. When a guest is found dead, the incident is linked to Isabel's murder, and Nora and Sebastian must work together to uncover the century-old curse that has wrapped 322 Predicament Avenue in its clutches and threatens far more than death. So as you can see, it's it's pretty, they're pretty suspenseful. Jamie's like a master at writing, um, oh, there's my, my order sheet. Uh, Jamie's a master at writing like uh, very suspenseful, uh, like creepy, ghoulish, scary, <laughs> clean. That's the fun thing about it is it's all clean. But man, she will have you like checking doors at night after you, you've been reading it. So 
Okay, more gushing to come, but let's dive into this. Um, here is Jamie's backlist. I have read most of them. She is a go-to author. When her books release, I get them. Um, her books are very good if you like suspense. Um, 2024 release. Like I said, this is an April release. And we go back and forth between timelines. The first page, we're just going to look at her. Sometime in the past. I can hear the darkness. It is like a breeze on a frigid winter's night that rattles the leafless branches. It is like the cold that travels through your open mouth and down your throat, a frozen kiss stealing your breath. It is like a blizzard that swallows you in its swiftness, blinding behind and, be and before and side to side. Darkness is winter. It is the end. It is death. I can hear death. I can hear it whispering like a phantom swooping through the forest. My name is ever so soft and yet violent as the storm it implies. Death is cloaked in mystery. It is ghoulish in its tasteless form. It is an unspoken secret, perhaps the most well-kept secret of time itself. Death. Still, I run my fingers across the granites, the marbles, the pillars of names etched with dates and epitaphs. Some day they will topple and crumble. Children will run over the mound, flattened by time, and never know they trample upon someone's lost memories. Ooh. So, so then we get the present day Nora and the past Effie. So it bounces back and forth. That's the way Jamie's books are typically structured. So... If you like this video, please take a moment to hit the like button down below. And also, if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, it'll let you know when I post my first day fun days. Um, first page fun days. <laughs> um, also, when I post my unboxings, because I do those as well. This was a combination. And um, yeah, so uh, what did you think of this selection? Have you read anything by Jamie Jo Wright? Were you like you know, were you intrigued, like really intrigued by the first page? I mean, that's the way Jamie writes. She's, she's got a way with words, I'll tell you that much. And she really brings you into the story with these wonderful descriptions. So um, if you like that, if you like that first page, that was nothing. Um, so or if you have you read anything else by Jamie, or if you just want to say hi, that's okay, too. I love your comments. I read and respond to them all. So, um, that is going to be it for today's first page fun days. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Have a great day.